Hey, look mum no computer here. And in my everlasting struggle to find enough things to fill up the hopefully eminent Museum of Everything Else, which is sort of like an interactive museum kind of thing, I found this beautiful thing. This is an XY plotter. What's an XY plotter? I was actually introduced to XY plotters by Simon and Kasia at Mono Shop in Berlin. They actually even donated a um, not fully functional one to me, which I had a good go with, but it was a little bit ropey and it's, it wasn't really 100% working. So it stopped me from really giving it a go. Fast forwards two years and then on eBay, I find this Brule and Cure one for 30 quid. It says it wasn't working. Well, look at it. It actually works. So what is a plotter? Well, you plug in two voltage sources, X and Y, and it'll draw a pretty picture. So uh, let's give it a go. This one hasn't actually got the pen mount, so it's actually a little bit useless if you don't know how to do a little bit of a cheap hack, which is called the cable tie. So I'm gonna cable tie this pen onto here, and then hopefully we're gonna draw a picture. So uh, let's, uh, let's try it. Ooh. It's that simple, and I think that's gonna hold. Oh, oh, look at that! It's drawing a line. It's like an etch a sketch, a scientific etch a sketch. This one's got a different um, calibration. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! It's, it's the well, I've got a, a bit harder. Okay, so now you can see it's working. I'm gonna draw a picture, and I'll keep on drawing a picture on my fancy scientific etch a sketch. So what I've got here are four voltage sources. I've got this Korg MS-10, which is Johnny's behind the camera, lent us it for this lovely demonstration. I promise I won't break it. And then there's my MS-10, there's these two Brawl and Care signal generators. These two Brawl and Care signal generators, I found out are a little bit too quick for this. I'll show you why. Yeah, sadly, if I move along, oh, look at that waveform. Oh my God, that is awesome. Holy. So I'm gonna patch the low frequency oscillator from the Korg MS-10 into the Y axis, oh no, into the X axis, and that's gonna go along. So now I'm gonna flick them both off. Okay, it's making lovely plant. It's making lovely. So now, this one I think is a little bit too quick. So I've got the LFO on the MS-10 going backwards and forwards. I'm gonna plug the LFO from this one as well. Time to do this. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is the pictures. Okay, so this is two, oh, so this is two LFOs. And we'll slowly let it kind of do its thing. Ah, no, I just destroyed my paint So it's drawing quite slowly now. I'm just gonna... Oh, it's drawing the Umbro logo, what's going on? Right, let's bring it up a bit. Oh yeah, here we go. Scotch Avenue. Right, next one. What are we gonna do? Why is this one going so quickly? Now, I can't think of anything funner than that. And that is marching dog across a prairie in a bloodbath. 
So when this turned up last night, I did an Instagram story kind of showing you like it's spinning around and somebody called Torty Blunt, I think that's how you pronounce his username, actually said, why don't you use a pheromone? Woo, right there. And you know what, that's a really good idea because this pheromin right here that I have actually has control voltages out. That means the closer you get, the more voltage it sends to here. And that means the higher and lower it goes. So in essence, we're gonna have a hands-free Etch-a-Sketch. So you know what a pheromin is, right? Like. I've got to tell you now, I can't really play the pheromone, but can I paint with a pheromone? That's the question. Oh, that is amazing. So the louder it gets, the higher it goes. <laughs> oh, that's... I'm really excited by this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the x-axis into the pitch of the pheromone. So what's this? Okay. I don't believe it's actually working. And we're gonna get painting. It's gonna look more like Postman Pat's car. I don't think you could really call that a motor car. <laughs> this is going to be a lovely scenic view. Okay, so we got the the traffic light coming up. Oh no, a house. Oh, the house went through the car. Need a front door. Oh, it needs a window right at the top. Oh yeah, there's window one. Window two, what about the chimney? Bit of smoke coming from the chimney. There needs to be a person next to the car. Oh, he's quite a big person. Hanging from a noose as well. <laughs> he's hanging from a noose. He's got some pretty baggy trousers on. He's going to be waving at us. No, he's not. He's going to be holding flowers. <laughs> or she. Put a smiley for. Oh, this is a piece. Need some care. Oh my God, it's working. Oh, it's very hard, but I think it's kind of doable. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Tummy. Oh, okay, right, we're going for the mouth.
Ay. Second eye. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Come on. Huh? Ah! And then go back down to the ground. And Finn, there we go. We have a Furby. Oh, I don't believe I did it. Oh no, don't ruin the Furby. Oh, oh yeah, just look at that Furby. How cute is that? And at that point, I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna push my luck and try anything more. I think I've reached my pinnacle. There's a lot more I've got planned with these plotters and you'll see a lot more of these in videos coming up. But for now, I'm pretty happy that I've got an extra sketch wireless Furby drawn without even having to touch anything whatsoever with my hands. So yeah, if you want to support these endeavors, go and check out the Patreon. There's going to be a live stream. There's plenty more footage and samples and stems and all that stuff over there, as well as frequent vlogs. So if you're interested in that, please go and check it out because it kind of supports all the videos and helps them happen frequently and whatnot. But anyway, I've been Little Mum No Computer. This is a plotter. That's a Furby. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it. Try and draw yourself, try and draw a person, a, a face. <laughs> so friggin' hard. <laughs> right, reset, so. Really responsive though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm trying to draw like a circle. Yeah, a circle's hard, isn't it? Wait a minute, so I need to go. No. Ha <laughs> ha